Hello and welcome back to the Unbearable Reds, I'm your host Carl and today we're going to be talking about the forgotten man of the Liverpool Football Club, the Club Academy, Pedro Chirivea. I'd also like to introduce to you a special guest for today's video, the hideous spot on my bottom lip. Everyone please like, comment and subscribe. In all seriousness, we are a, a, a new channel and we would um, greatly appreciate any support we can get. Like, comment and subscribe if you are enjoying what we're doing currently. We also have a Twitter that's going to be linked in the description down below, so please give that a follow. Um, we do like to share Liverpool news on that daily, be it transfers, squads or any general news surrounding the squad. So, on with the show, um, Pedro Chirivea Burgos. He was signed by Liverpool in 2015 under the reign of then Liverpool manager Brendan Rodgers um, and you could tell that he was um, a Brendan Rodgers style of player he, he would have thrived in that system the quick pass and play the slow tempo the maintaining of possession and just generally a less heavy metal as Klopp likes to say style of football that Jürgen implements currently we signed them in 2015 uh, alongside uh, Sergi Canyos from Barcelona got them both in at the same time and both of them did as previously mentioned fit that mould of a Brendan Rodgers style player you know you're going to liken uh, Sergi Canyos to any Liverpool player in the past personally I'd liken them to like a Lucas Leiva style of player oh, how good was Lucas oh, Lucas Lucas Leiva we miss you man we miss you should never let you go really he'd have been a fantastic worker alongside Fabinho I think that's a major Maybe a, a video for another time. So yeah, I, I'd like him to Lucas Leiva in the sense of he wasn't a big, burly, well he's not a big, burly, lumbering player who throws himself into tackles and is an absolute warrior like Fabinho is. He, he, he's a much more cultured uh, defensive mid where he likes to replay and intercept balls. I'm not saying Fabinho doesn't do that, but this is... Pedro Chirave is bread and butter. He'll intercept the pass and turn and run at the, run at the opposition team and lay a pass, or he'll just pass it off straight away. Very much a metronome kind of defensive midfielder. The one thing that's potentially held him back in the development at Liverpool is a competition for first team places. Now, um, during the entire time, he's always been behind superior players. Like when he first came in, we had Gerard uh, and we had Lucas, I mean, we had Joe Allen at the time who were all um, playing defensive midfield roles under Rodgers. And then going on from there, we've had like, Jordan Henderson and we've had Fabinho, so he's never been on the level of any of those players, so he's never been able to actually break into the first team, probably for good reason. During his formative years at Liverpool Football Club, bear in mind we signed the lad when he was 17, so he was never really going to break into the first team straight away. But during those years, he didn't really impress in any of the chances that he got. He, he looked slow, he looked off the pace, he looked um, didn't look like a Premier League player, and it wasn't helped by the changing system. Then we got rid of Rodgers and brought in our glorious German overlord, Jurgen Klopp, who changed the system from a, a style of play that would have suited Pedro Chirivea's skill set to um, a faster hard-hitting football in, in the gig and press heavy metal style that Jurgen Klopp brought to Liverpool. So that didn't help his development at all and that resulted in two uh, quite unsuccessful, in my personal opinion, quite unsuccessful loan moves to the Eredivisie. He spent the 16-17 um, the season on loan at uh, Go Ahead Eagles and um, the 17-18 season on loan at Willem Tway didn't set the world alight and uh, after that the stuff didn't look good for him uh, as, as a player, as somebody who would have a future at Liverpool. He didn't look like he had a future at Liverpool, to be honest. So yeah, after these loan moves, it looked as though Pedro was on a fast track to the scrap heap and he was going to be resigned to being nothing more than the answer to a cop-out question in a jog pub quiz. That was until this season, where he's now played in all of our League Cup and FA Cup games and he's uh, raised a few eyebrows among the fans. With his performances, questioned could he potentially fulfil his potential and be a first team Liverpool player. So let's have a look at some of the performances he's had. He's played against, uh, he came on against MK Dons, did a great job. He's played against Aston Villa, did a, well, didn't think anyone played well that night, but given the circumstances you can appreciate. <laughs> played well against Arsenal uh, prior to the Villa game, and he also played well against Everton. So he's, he's put in performances against, you know, good sides like Aston Villa. Not that Aston Villa is a fantastic side, but in comparison to some of the drops that you do play in the Cubs, Aston Villa are, are, are one of the better teams. And he's done well against Arsenal, they were one of the top teams in the league. I know they're not playing well, but they are still one of the top teams, whether you like it or not. And he's putting in fantastic performances against you know, a couple of minnows like MK Dons and Everton. So the question is, 
does this land have a future at Liverpool Football Club? Can Pedro Chirivea step up and be a squad player or even do the unthinkable and unseat one of the first team and claim his place in that Liverpool starting eleven? Can he do this? The short answer is no. <laughs> the long answer is maybe, but it requires so many things going in his favour that it would be akin to a player like you or me winning the jackpot on the lottery. This is how unlikely it is that he's going to be a first team Liverpool player. So why do I think this? What, 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 what about Pedro Chirivea's situation makes me think that he can't be a Liverpool first team player? Well, just look at the players that are in front of him. The measuring stick to get in this team as a defensive midfielder is Fabinho. He's nowhere near Fabinho. For what we require as a defensive midfielder, in this system, under Klopp, Pedro Chirabea just doesn't have the tools. As mentioned earlier, he's a much more cultured DM, preparing to intercept the pass and then lay it off, as opposed to Fabinho, who's big, strong, hard, hard to get past, hard in the tackle, always winning the ball, and is just completely formidable. And that is the opposite of everything Pedro Chirabea is. And another player that's in front of him, in my view, for that DM role, if anybody was going to understudy Fabinho, for me, we're talking. Another forgotten man, really. Marco Gritch, who's currently on loan at Hertha Berlin. He's, a, he's done two years there. He's in his second season at Hertha Berlin now. And for, for all intents and purposes, he's done a fantastic job in the DM for Hertha Berlin. And I think next season, if we are going to be looking to bring a, a, somebody up to be an, an understudy, a backup to Fabinho, it ain't going to be Pedro Chirivea, it'll be Marco Gritch, because Jurgen Klopp brought Gruwich in. That was Klopp's first signing. And he's been in the academy, he's been out on loan. And I think after the good performances he's had for Hertha Berlin, this could be his time. He could come in, he could understudy Fabinho. For example, if he hadn't been out on loan at Hertha Berlin when Fabinho was injured, you could very easily imagine him sharing that role with Jordan Henderson at the end. He wouldn't have had Jordan Henderson having to play game after game after game after game. You'd have probably seen more of Marco Gritsch in that role, and then you'd have seen Henderson playing in his normal, his now normal role, which is in the eight, as one of the two box-to-box -box midfielders. And we didn't see that for Pedro Chirivea. Why didn't we see that for Pedro Chirivea? Because he's not the kind of DM that Liverpool need at this moment in time. Another reason, if we're going to be promoting any player from the under-23s, it's not Pedro Chirivea, it's Curtis Jones. The lad looks an absolute baller and he looks like he is going to go on to be a Liverpool first team player and potentially a Liverpool legend. He is unbelievable for his age and I think when Adam Lallana does leave this summer, it's going to be Curtis Jones making that uh, move up to the squad. don't think he's going to be first team straight away. Uh, I think he'll definitely be a backup coming in. Um, we need players resting or we need a player to go in there with no fear. But there is no fear in youth. So yeah, I think it would be Curtis Jones that would be fulfilling that role of the academy player taking the step up. I do, however, think that Pedro Chirivea is good enough to have a decent career elsewhere. Me saying that he's not good enough for Liverpool does not mean that I think he's not a good player. He is a decent player. You've seen how he's gone out there. He's held his own against Premier League teams in Aston Villa, Everton and Arsenal. He can do it. He just can't do it for Liverpool Football Club because our standards are so high right now of what we require to achieve what we want. He's just nowhere near that level. Now, he was linked with a move in the January transfer window to Charlton Athletic on loan. I don't think that would have been a good move for him, and I think that's probably why it hasn't come off. Because I think Charlton Athletic, despite their good start at the start of the championship season, they're now struggling really badly and are lingering towards the bottom of the table. And I do think Charlton Athletic's beneath them. If he was going to take a step down into another league, well, into the championship, I think he'd fit in really well at Marco Bielsa's Leeds United, playing under under a manager like Bielsa, with that metronome style of the defensive midfielder. I think he's fit in really well there. That'd be where I'd send him if I had the choice of where he went. I don't obviously, but if I had the choice, that's where I'd send him. Failing that, I'd send him to maybe even uh, send him back to Spain to one of the more technically um, astute teams. Who that is, I don't know. Uh, pick any random team, Hetafe, yeah. Hetafe, that's a Spanish team, right? Yeah, Hetafe. Send them to Hetafe. He do well there. So yeah, that's all I have to say on um, Pedro Chirivea and his uh, development and future at Liverpool Football Club. Now, do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear your thoughts. Is there anything I've missed or any factors I haven't considered? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe because we are going to be releasing videos 
at least every Friday for the foreseeable future. Also follow us on Twitter because as I mentioned earlier, we do like to keep up to date with Liverpool news, Liverpool transfer gossip and general um, information about the club through our Twitter feed. So yeah, as always, up the Reds. <laughs>